let me let let me save this then i'll proceed further to the next problem this problem hmm. go for this one okay now a car accelerates from west first moves with a constant aggression 5 meter for some time and then after moving uniform speed for some time does it the same rate how long does it move with a uniform speed you come to rest it will <coughs> retard it will move with a constant speed okay there is about a car accelerates from rest let let me write all the data first moves with an acceleration so there is an acceleration alpha for some time and then after moving with an uniform speed for them start deceleratting at the same rate to come to rest okay let me write a only i need to come to rest so it will move with a uniform speed so this distance acceleration only acceleration retardation total time given the average velocity is given so this distance covered let it be x s1 s2 s3 so since the S one must be equal to S three. How how do I can I can show I can show that v is equal to a into v square equal to two a s one or v square minus zero square equal to two a s one. This is for uniform accelerated motion here here. So what is we we can write it as two a s one. Similarly for this it was come it has come to rest zero square minus v square equal to Two minus a s into s three. Okay, fine. S <coughs> one equal. To, in fact, s three that is hmm. total time of journey. Okay, even this times also should be equal. T one. This is T three. This is T two. Even T one should be equal to T three. from this data so what is average velocity how we define average velocity should be equal to distance covered s1 plus s2 plus s3 by t1 plus t2 plus t3 2 s1 plus s2 this is 2 t1 plus t2 v equal to s2 by t2 <coughs> total time of journey we know it so what is t1 2 t1 plus t2 25 seconds i replace t2 with this total time of journey we know it okay there there's no problem i'll get it uh, and further what is v v is equal to s2 into t2 so s2 is equal to what t2 further what is t2 you can write Twenty five minus two T one. How long does it move with a uniform speed? That, that was the only question that is asked here. We know average velocity. We know total time taken. So we'll get the total distance covered. T two has to. If you know T one, <coughs> we can find out the other things. So let's substitute all the things. first of all what we know is like a v average is 20 total distance covered let me write s1 plus s2 somewhere here okay let me we'll do one thing v average equal to total time and what is t hmm, there's a separate first we'll get the total distance covered 
So V average is how much? 20 S, this will be 25. So S is equal to how much it will be? Uh, 25 into 2 will be 50, 500 meter. Total distance covered, what we know is 500 meter. No. Somehow what happened, we, we need only T2. Huh? If can that we can get it, I think problem will be solved. How long does it move with an uniform speed? So what is the use of that acceleration? <coughs> v is equal to what we can write further? Phi T1, according to uniform exerted motion. So this will become here Phi T1. So 25 into Phi, 125 T1 minus 10 T1 square. And S2 is what? S1 is what? S1 will be written as 5 T1 square by 2. I think uh, almost our problem is over. We can solve it very easily. Uh, this equation I'm going to take help of. This is, let, let, it, let me write T only this is. So V average we know how much it is? 22 phi t1 square by 2 I'll, I'll give that then 192 let me give oh, okay this is needed no i don't know where i'm thinking yeah i'll, I'll indicate the color sir so that will be easy for you that there i'm going to substitute Let, let's get into the calculation part uh s2 will be 125 T1 minus 10 T1 square by capital T. Capital T we know 25 seconds. So there's everything now will end up with only expression for T1. So this will be 20 to 25 will be 500. 5 T1 square, 125 T1 minus 10 T1 square. 500 plus 5 t1 square minus 125 t1 once after getting t1 all the things will <coughs> we can calculate solving quadratic equation t1 equal to 125 plus or minus 125 whole square minus 4 ac 4 into 500 into 5 by 2 into 5, 125 square, such a big number. Huh? 125 into 125, 15625. Oh, I think I'll, I'll... One five six two five four five ja twenty. Okay, for five five ja twenty five twenty five into four hundred. Okay, this will be ten thousand by ten. Mm, five thousand six hundred and twenty five by ten. Root of five six two five. 5625 will be 75. What are the values we can pick up? 125 plus minus 75. 125 minus 75 will be 50. Five seconds is the one answer. Another answer will be 125 plus this will be 200. This will be 20 seconds. I think total time of okay two instances of time is there t1 th this not possible mm. 
this is a possible value. Substitute that T1 there in this equation. So what do we get? Now I'll get S2. S2 equal to 125 into 5 minus 10 into 5 square. 125 into 5, 625 minus 25 into 5 will be 50. 425, I'll get it. Then we know V equal to 5T1. V equal to 5T1 from, from here, here. Please look at here, Th this corner. Mm, I, I, let me highlight at least the, the links are there from there to there. So I think they're the thing what I can do. Okay, from this uh, 5 into 5, 25 meter per second. Then it will move with a uniform speed for what time? T2 equal to S2 by V. S2 is how much? 425 by 25. I'm not good in math, to be frank. <laughs> 425, uh, this should be 17. Moves with, okay, there's a time for which body moves. Body moves with uniform time for which body or car moves. with uniform speed. Okay, problem, let's a bit some calculation oriented. Huh? Okay. So nothing, we are just, we are to apply equations of motion. We have to search for all possible Conditions here, that's all. 